Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Imperator, the Bronze Age, playing as Babylon, the Great and Powerful, with over 1,000 pops. Arrival for Egypt, as it continues to develop over here. Not anymore, never mind, 1,700 pops. Woo, boy! Haha! <laughs> Somebody's grown a little bit up into the Delta. Okay, never mind, Egypt still kicks our butt. But still, in the region of uh, Mesopotamia, along the Euphrates and the Tigris Rivers, we are looking... Pretty strong right now. Uh, that could change rather rapidly if any of our neighbors decide to start gobbling up some nearby territory. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen, but it very well could. Note, by the way, Marad is currently sitting at 140 repu uh, opinion of me. I think what we can do real quick is just swap this. Ah, this doesn't increase it as much as I thought. What? They changed this? Or no, something had to recalculate. It's actually only 100. Never mind, I'm not sure why after reloading the game it said it was 140. I was thinking, hey, we can just add on an extra 50 and begin the integration process right now. But apparently that's not how it is. Something had to recalculate my mistake. Anyway, in the last couple of videos in particular, we have been very aggressively expanding. And you can see our aggressive expansion is pretty darn high right now. It's making a lot of people unhappy. And it is absolutely trashing my stability. Nothing good can come out of that. So, we want to burn this down, but the thing is, I don't feel like I can stop conquering. I just have to keep killing more people. So that's what we're going to be doing over here now, in Sippar and Kar Nergal, to try and prevent Uruk from eating up another 300, no, 450-ish pops. Don't want them taking any of that. Akkad does serve me, and I believe if we can find... There's a decisions mode somewhere, right? Is it nation overview or government... Somewhere, I believe, we have the opportunity. Yeah, reform the Akkadian Empire. There it is. We need 200 territories, and Akkad has to be our capital. We'd have to swap out of Babylon. If we did this, we would get four free citizens, four free slaves, four free freemen. And Babylon, well, eventually our capital, so Akkad, undoubtedly, would get some population growth, civilization value, and some freemen happiness, plus a couple of extra province investments. A couple things you could there, if you really wanted to go ahead and do some reformations into larger tags and stuff, you could do that. I kind of like the idea of forming the new Neo-Babylonian Empire, but I may not have the choice on that. After weeks of nervous looks and smirks at court, the whispers circling the palace have reached our ears. Someone's been spreading rumors and spinning yarns of his unequaled prolificacy and unfitness for the throne. Okay, well, that ain't good. Um, somebody is going to be possibly losing some popularity, our ruler. Or there's a chance that we will lose a negative trait due to our redeemable character. Whatever that means. I'm not too sure what just happened there. What traits do we got here? We are wise but cruel, plain speaking, which honestly is only good if you're tribal. Otherwise, this ain't bad. I mean, rep reputation is pretty solid. Harsh, statesmanship, slave, great wonder, construction, aggressive... It's a pretty good character, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think we lost any negative traits there. I'm not too sure what just happened, but all right. No, it's fine. So we're sitting on a fair bit of cash right now with the goal of eventually building up a wonder. I think that would be fun. Some prosperity in Babylon. We get 15% extra taxes, and somebody loses popularity, which I don't care if they're popular or not. Or we could gain some stability, which, of course, will just go away. I'm going to go ahead and take the taxes. You have gone to war again. Who now art thou fighting? You are fighting against Deru. And Lamadu over here, these guys. Ugh. Yeah, um, the thing is, um, I kind of want to keep these guys as an ally with 470 pops. I'm a little bit wary of them getting too strong, but I'd like to have somebody on my side right now because I don't think that my rivals, Uruk and Susan, and to a much, much lesser extent, Ur, but now Uruk and Susan have any allies of their own. So me having an ally is a pretty huge advantage. I suppose we could assist them, though truth be told, I'm not sure you need the help. I mean, you've got way more pops and therefore surely a lot more levy than them. I think you're going to be fine as is. I'd rather get to work over here and see if you can start taking Kish back, because that is one of my missions, uh, don't you know? So we're going to get over here into Kish. You guys are going to head over into this guy's land. You're gonna head over here. We're gonna start murdering these folks. Because I can. Yes, aggressive expansion is gonna go up even higher. We really, really, really need to chill out. 
but I can't do it. I mean, this is the power grab point. The fortune favors the bold, right? You guys remember playing uh, Crusader Kings 2 back when they introduced the mode where the entire world is fractured and fragmented, right? It's literally just like every individual county is independent. And it's the same thing there. Whoever can start snowballing faster than everyone else is the one who goes super powerful. Uh, yeah, I'll take some free stability and stuff. Why not? Seems good. I'm getting sieged a little bit over here, though truth be told, I don't care. It's actually from the people over here that decided to go and fight me rather than my ally. Doesn't matter, as long as I win the wars that I care about, who cares? Um, wait, what happened? Something happened over here. Hang on, who are you? There's a revolt. You've got a revolt? Oh, good. No, that's fantastical. Um... Awkward. Am I not sieging down this fort? I'm black flagged. Hang on. I think we gotta turn around and head back over here. So a revolt started just as soon as we started this war, which is pretty irritating, because now I've not been sieging this at all, but that's fine. We can turn around and finish them off soon enough. It'll be all right. Just gotta end this black flag by getting into my territory, turn right back around and get over there. We have won the Siege of Kish! Hooray! Um, let's go for another county or provincial capital over here. Did finish building a scribe school and a training camp. Still building up some money despite the fact that we are at war, which is certainly quite nice. I want to make sure that I haven't accidentally, you know, reduced my maintenance or something. That would obviously feel really stupid if that were to happen. Uh, why is there 7,000 troops here from Uruk? Is Uruk fighting you as well? It sure as heck appears that they are. Uruk has decided to take on Sipar. Well, that's awkward, and I don't appreciate it. Um... We need to get down over here and see what we can siege as quickly as we can so that we prevent Uruk from taking too much. Though this may be more or less unavoidable now. We're going to be competing against my enemy. Bitter Feud. We could start seeing our court philosopher as a rival. Or rather, our heir can see them as a rival. I don't see the point in that. Or side with our heir. I mean, at the end of the day, I suppose we side with the heir, but I'm very disappointed in my philosopher. That's not a very wise thing that you seem to be doing there. All right, so we killed off that group of troops. That's fine. Let's head over here as quick as we can. Want to make sure we get a lot. We've finished sacking a place. We're going to be gentle once again because I fully anticipate that I will be eating that. And you are going to head over here, I guess. Let's get down to this community. We're going to get the capital fort over here, I imagine. Um, Uruk is coming to assist with the siege, which is awkward and obviously not desired. Sue for peace from the revolt. Not a chance. I plan on eating you. Um, I would love to see these provincial capitals get unseaged. So fighting against Sipar is not actually in my best interest. If we can avoid it, I should, because I want them to go to the right place and siege some stuff back. Namely, against Uruk. I may not get lucky with that, and this may become very irritating very quickly. Hmm. Well... Looks like they've already begun working on this fort over here. Tell you what, what I can do is start um, snagging little bits of territory. Before he finishes the siege, he might get the single province of Gudana, but I can possibly take everything else from him. If we're quick. You, don't go to my territory, I swear to God. He's gonna do it, isn't he? Loyal subject, gain political influence, lose stability. I'd really rather not lose stability. As much as I like the political influence, that wouldn't do me very well. Did you just end your war? You you took Sipar as a client state. Which means the only way to take over Sipar and eat Kish is now to fight Uruk. I am highly displeased with this turn of events. That complicates things somewhat. Okay. So now, I'm, I'm in an awkward spot. I wanted to eat Sipar, but I can't. Hmm. Well, let's go and unseage some territory of mine that seems to be getting messed with. We'll head over here. So you've just guaranteed that now I have to fight against Uruk again. They've got a thousand pops. So they're almost exactly on par with me, plus they have a very powerful vassal at 245, and I've got less. Uruk just outpaced me, basically. Hmm. Yeah, that don't feel good. Um, well, I have an ally, so that's one thing that works to my advantage. We did just finish sieging this, so what I'm going to do with you now is I'm going to eat you. I can't. Hang on. 
I'm gonna eat you. I don't know how this is gonna work as far as ending the Civil War, but we're gonna take this. Let's get some popularity back since that's kind of burned down a little bit. Now we're gonna eat you. And I've already got max popularity, so let's go ahead and burn down a little aggressive expansion. Yeah, um, that's that was a good move on his part, but I'm rather irritated by it. Hmm. Put you in charge, I suppose. Um, we are still at war, so we shouldn't just necessarily ignore all of this. We should probably go and unseed some of my land that's being messed with at the moment. Could assist with these sieges, make sure that we get ourselves a bit of war score and stuff, some participation, um, I suppose. You, uh, I don't know, let's, um, see if we can head over here or something. Yeah, awkward, 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 so I can't get Kish. Smart play. Smart play by the AI. Like I said, it's a race. Like, just because so far it's been very rinse and repeat, murder, 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 does not mean that... It's going to be easy from here on out. Uruk is a major, major threat. Huge threat, in fact. Akkad's going to dislike me for a while. I may have no choice but to try and move to the north, Mari being quite strong at the moment. There is a fair bit of South Akkadian troops we, uh, population we could grab if we worked our way up to the north, but I'm not sure that's what's going to be best. I'm curious what's going to happen with Deru and Lamadu. I wish I could go take Isin, but I can't. Or can I? No, just show superiority. Also, you're in a defensive league with Malgum. Okay, there's an option. Malgum. Can I? I cannot fabricate a claim on you. Blech. Yeah, I'm not being left with a lot of options here. Hmm. We're gonna have to go to war against Uruk next. Either that or we need to build tall as much as we can, but he's gonna have a population boost on me. I mean, he's gonna have more population than me, and he's doing pretty well. Although now I've got a uh, 1,100 population, so we've slightly outstripped him by taking some of that land. Having an ally with over 500 pops once they finish this war would be pretty helpful for obvious reasons. We are working on a fort. Discredible uh, dal dalliance? Young woman has arrived bearing a baby who is claimed to be the son of Lugal, which is me, my son. It appears she speaks the truth. There is an in... Okay. Well, make my wife like me. Uh, gain tyranny. I like that. Keep it, but the child will never want for anything. The babe has royal blood, a pretender to the throne. Now, we're going to make it go away. I'm going to take some tyranny on. Tyranny should allow me to start burning down some aggressive expansion a smidge faster, but obviously the best thing that could happen for me right now is getting out of this dang war. Who is actively fighting against Uruk? They are fighting against Eason and Amalgam. They are also trying to eat these guys up, kind of like I suspected could happen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to be finding ourselves kind of entrenching very soon. Uh, yes, I'll buy some stability out. Thank you. We've got the sacking done. I'm going to go ahead and just be really brutal on it. Just take some serious cash. Take as many pops out of there as we can. Some of you guys go to forts. I just want to end this war quickly if we can. But now we can head to the rest of the communities and make sure we get some forts. So now I'm curious. We probably could benefit from building some forts in a few key areas. Now, that said, I'm not sure that we have enough uh, infrastructure to fortify the provinces. We need to have more fort infrastructure capacity. I think we might be able to build a fort, but it looks like we already have... Let's see. No, this is an individual province. We could build a second fort down here if we want to be really, really mean. That said, having more infrastructure to build out these forts and upgrade them would be nice, but I think we already have two forts here. Yes, we do. So that isn't going to happen. We've got a fort down here. I'm just looking to see if we've got everything more or less protected. Yeah, we could upgrade this fort. I'm not sure it's worth it with 18 pops, though. Hmm. Hmm. 
No, I think we got forts on all the borders that I really care about. There's not a whole lot of advantage to building out more. The best thing to do is probably just continue building out my, um, building out my population and my infrastructure. We do have to finish building up some structures in TT and Apoc. Uh, I guess I will get city infrastructure. No, we could build a fort, but no. Ziggurat? To my knowledge, we don't benefit from this because everyone's already of the correct population type, culture and religion. So I guess we will go for a workshop or something. In TT, let's get a scribe school going as well. Foundries are pretty good. If we had a lot of slaves here, it'd be really good. I don't know. Hmm. Well played by Uruk. It seems like the AI in Imperator has been far more aggressive than they are in some others. Like, they, they're they opportunistic. Gosh dang, with the dysentery again. Um, they see that you are attacking a nation, and they say, Hey, cool, let's go ahead and attack them as well, and it works. Sure, I lose opinion of Uruk, that's fine. I don't like Uruk anyway right now. We could get some more precious metals for a lot more citizen happiness, and I think I'll do that instead of the leather. Let's make the citizens really, really ecstatic. The Drought Lessons. It's not that it's gone, it's just that it's less than it was prior. So our food is slightly better than it was previously. Though we have not really been having any issues with food up to this point, so I don't feel like I care that much. We could, by the way, try to reduce our war exhaustion. This cost me tyranny. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this because again, a little bit more tyranny suits my purposes. I'm, I'm fine with being a tyrant. Now, there are other ways we could become a tyrant. We could be changing up, like, provincial governor policies and stuff like that. I think that counts as tyranny, technically. But, at least as things stand right now, I'm okay with what the governors are doing. Let's go ahead and just continue capturing Pops. Caught eight more, sent a whole load of slaves elsewhere. Beautiful. I don't see any more provincial capitals we can go for, so I'm gonna start heading home with my troops. Yeah, let's just be brutal in some of these sacks. I'm not going to get the population anyway. It's probably going to be going to my ally. Unless he leaves some of this open, in which case I will happily go ahead and siege it down myself with another claim. Uh, we are cruel, so we, for we refuse to forgive the governor of Suham, which means we just murdered a member of a major family, which is probably not a good thing. But nobody has scorned yet, so maybe we don't actually care. Um, unnoticeable, cruel. I think we take you then. You have pretty decent stats. Let's go ahead and do the citizen happiness again. Though I feel like our religion must be getting weaker as time goes on. So many people are sacking all of our holy sites. Which is weird. Aren't you guys Chaldean? Uruk is Chaldean. Why they would sack that, I don't know. I understand why the Elamites in Susan would be sacking all of our holy sites. But the rest seems questionable. Ah, uh, we didn't get that siege. Well, that sucks. Alright, send some more troops home. Maybe I can buy a load of mercs or something. Maybe that's a way to beat down Uruk. We got money. Money ain't the issue. We got money. I got money, dude. I'm worried Susan's gonna pop over here and do something, though. Who are they fighting? Durnabu over here. I don't care about that. Uh, Alright, fine. Just finish the siege. Thank you. And we get four more pops, but a bunch of them died on the way. Alright, cool. Uh, what else was there to do for this war score? We're at 99. I've got 48 myself. So, I mean... I wonder if I could just peace out. No. Can I peace out with you? Totally could. But I don't own any of the occupations on my border, so I can't take this. And that ends the war. Okay. Well, goody goody gumdrop. Um, so you did get a little stronger, and in the process, you took the territory that was the easiest for me to expand to, and now I can't get to Deru. So, yes, we literally have no other way to expand except against Mari over here. Who now has, by the way, 1,262 pops. Look at them freaking go. Holy crud. And they're way more stable than I am, too, on top of that. Ooh, boy. Um, okay. I am beset by enemies on all sides that are scarily strong. Hey, did we finish improving relations with you? I think we did, actually. Yeah, we did. I'll send you a gift, I guess. That gets them to 148. Is there anything else I can do to try and get a little bit more relations with you? I need to get back up to 140. Just to begin with the integration process. Improving relations will get me very little at this point. 
We could wait for some stuff like recently declared war to go away. Looks like a child just took over. Fun. I don't think you can do this twice, can you? No, okay. Just wanted to waste a little bit of money and double, double check. Double check. It should tell you that you can't do that. It should tell you things like that, in my opinion. Invite to league. Sell territory. Cancel client status. No, there's nothing we can do until just a teeny little bit more goes away. Which, for the record, we could actually get two more if I were to send another gift and improve relations a tiny bit. Roman traditions. Well, we do now have the copper. So I could go for the extra principes, which is to say stronger axemen. Heavy infantry. Tempting. That said, three innovations is pretty huge. I'm gonna go for this. Also, you can't go wrong with more siege ability. That's just generally great, right? Let's go ahead and disband the levies. I'm not going to war for a bit, much as I would like to. Innovations. Um, still, by the way, no idea how we're supposed to get civilization points. I've tried to find it, um, and I have so far failed completely. So let's see, Strategic Academy. If we wanna get some better great wonders, that is a thing. Reinforcement speed leading toward discipline, discipline, blah, blah, blah. Starting experience, blah, blah, blah. Maintenance cost for legions don't matter to me at all. Discipline for axemen specifically. Um, I like the idea of going for things like sapping. Work toward things like siege towers and Scorpio. Siege ramps. I don't know if I need any of that though. Maybe I do. Pop promotion speed could be huge. What I need probably is stuff that makes my citizens a lot happier so I can get more research points. That would be nice. Like this. But innovations are so very, very rare right now. I'm not convinced it's the best thing to do. Could boost up my diplomatic relations. That won't do me a whole lot of good. It will just reduce how much uh, political influence I'm losing from being over our slots. Reducing tyranny isn't what I want. Diplomatic reputation isn't what I want. Defending liberty, on the other hand, gets me a relation and it reduces aggressive expansion impact, which means my stability won't be hurt quite as much. We just got a .08 swing. Okay. Another relation. Improve opinion maximum. Ah, that actually solves some problems. We'll do that. Diplomatic education. Aggressive expansion change unlocks the Grand Theater. All right, we're just gonna go all the way down this. The Grand Theater, like the Grand Temple, is a great way of trying to get more people to swap over to your culture. So they're pretty helpful. Um, the extra improve opinion now means that I definitely can get these guys up there. So we'll go ahead and spend a bit of money to do this again. Although, now we're already at 141. So, what we should be able to do is reduce the tributes a little bit. And then once I get my diplomat back, yep, we can start the integration. Boom! This will take until February 1st of 825. It'll take a long time. With 100 pops. But, we've officially begun the process, and now I'm pretty sure we can just raise the tribute again, and it doesn't matter, because it's not gonna stop. All you had to do is just get him down to 190 for like a moment. There you go, see? It's a weird way of kind of cheesing the system a little bit, right? Just a little bit weird? Anyway. Olives would get me a lot of slave happiness. Saffron for popularity, don't care. And then the leather was for skirmisher defense, which is nice, but probably not absolutely necessary. I think I will go for the slave happiness. Let's make the slaves really happy. Having the extra diplomatic range so I can trade with people a lot further away is actually pretty nice. I'm digging it so far. Uruk, oh buddy, you, you are a problem. You ate Isin, so they're gone. Yeah. I am pretty sure I can go to war whenever I want. I mean, as soon as the truce is gone, sure, but like, I don't need more claims against Uruk. That's not what's beneficial to me. We could do some colonization efforts, I suppose. I could betray my ally, but we need our aggressive expansion to go down anyway so I can build up some stability, get a lot stronger, and then fight Uruk. I'm highly concerned. He's got more people he can go fight. I don't. I'm worried that I've lost the race. 
Well, let's go ahead and do some colonization down over here, get some honey. We don't have... Yeah, neighbors can't have colonization progress. Akkad is upset with me. Okay. Yeah, so this province right here, it has to finish its year-long um, colonization effort before we'll be able to do this. Still, a little bit helps. Um, could colonize up in this direction as well. Some cloth, cloth, earthenware. Leather, wild game, earthenware. Uh, I guess we just go ahead and colonize whatever I can. Yes, I'm spending valuable manpower, but it's not like I need that for levies right now anyway. We might as well try to take as much as we can. A statue! Local happiness, lose some popularity. Alright, fine, I'll sack my popularity, it's fine. It's probably fine. We're not worried about it. I do need to make sure you are happy with me. We're going to go ahead and try to improve relations with you by 120. I just want to have them as a loyal vassal so they technically contribute a little bit in the event that it's needed. TT, have you finished building things? You have. So... Provincial capitals are tolling stations. That's interesting. Um, I guess I get a workshop here as well. Why not? So that will fulfill my mission for all three cities having all their building slots taken up. Babylon. There's still nothing here I really can get. We don't have urbanization. We don't have palatial development. We don't have trade to technology. Yeah, so the technologies that we have to unlock for our country down here will unlock some additional buildings as well. Which can be nice. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What would I build for a wonder if I had to, do you think? I have a limit to how many things I can get. We can go for raw money. Military tech investment, local research points. Local points, though. Oratory tech investment, religious investment, make the citizens happier. Slaves happier. I'm looking for anything that, like, really changes the game in a big way. Loyalty estates don't matter to me too much. Manpower. Maintenance costs, ships. Mercenaries. This is okay. Stronger garrisons, unintegrated culture, and such. So a lot of the really good stuff that I think I might want, I think is actually locked behind some tech. So even if I could get a wonder, I'm not sure it necessarily would be huge. Conquering traditions could be useful, I suppose. Diplomatic doctrines of Cassus Belli could be useful. Integration speed, diplomatic relations, very good if I'm going to have a lot of uh, subjects. Don't have nobles. Provincial loyalty and a reduction of corruption permanently for everybody is actually pretty big. I do like having... Um, oh, wow. Expanding culture. Holy crap. Um, I do I do like having extra corruption reduction. It can be pretty nice. Slave labor traditions will let me enslave people more often. And then, yeah. Chance to gain stats in my characters if we have the academies. Interesting. Veterans are moving on. We get some tax, lose some loyalty, but get some manpower, which means we can go for another colonization. I guess I'll take this one to prevent my ally from taking it. That way I guarantee that these five remain for me. We have number six down here. Could also be colonizing up in these directions. They have some stuff I don't have. What's this? Spices? No, vegetables. Furs, hemp. All of that could be nice. Gonna be a long time before we have Murad under control, though. Let's finish up the workshop, and let's see what's gonna happen as far as my mission. I want to know. Untiring devotion. We get some stability. Thank God. Lord knows we could use it. What I really could use is a frick load more political influence so I can stab some pigs. These piggies. I need them to die so I can get stability back. It's so bad. Oh, my tyranny's not high enough. Um... Could look for ways to boost that. If I went to religion, could we just do this? Yes. Gain tyranny twice. There we go. So cohort loyalty chance for generals goes up. Loyalty of characters goes down. Threshold for civil war, sure. But we've reduced the aggressive expansion a smidge. 
And we're going to have some better slave output. I'm going to do it one more time, because screw it. Also, let's provide the Divine Sacrifice. Okay, so my stability is going down, but it's not as bad as it was. We're slightly stabilizing. Hey, we should have finished developing a POC, which means Babylon gets a free investment. Thank you. Supply them. We need to send them... Grain, vegetables, salt, fish, or livestock. Do that, and our population and capacity goes up for the rest of the game. I still haven't been able to control Kish. Just so irritating. Until I do that, I can't acquire Kutha and get that mission. Planning for war, import two copper. Yeah, that is a thing. So over here, if I changed up what you're importing, um, let us cancel the importation of, let's say, leather. And instead, have you import, um... They're all just gonna be local food modifiers, I guess. We'll go for this. So, are you now... You should now be importing... Import two or more of the following trade resources, two out of two. Am I crazy, or is it looking like we've done that? Unless they're saying they have to be the same thing. That could be. Hang on, let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna cancel some... fruit. Import more livestock from somewhere else in my empire. Or somewhere else. No, they want two or more of different food types, not of the same types. Okay, hang on. I apologize. Cancel this. Cancel this. Bring in some salt. And that was it. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Supply you book done. Perfect. Got the mission finished. All right. So we've made progress on that front at least. Stability still slowly going down, but aggressive expansion is ticking down at a much more reasonable rate. So we're starting to get somewhere. And we can continue just colonizing as much as we want. Let's go ahead and colonize this too. Boom, we've got that. And we are annexing a vassal. Obviously, a cod will have to go at some point as well. I do not have any political influence. We'll figure that out soon enough. Support rebels. Is that a thing I could do? Drought again? Ah! Lose a load of money. Or my son loses money, but I get loyalty regardless. I guess I'd rather just have the loyalty and lose some money. It's not like I don't have plenty of that right now. And I know when you be ending this video, I apologize. Give me a minute. I want to make sure that we got this. If I could just import some more copper, that would be amazing. But I cannot. Gemstones. Even more happiness for citizens. Yeah? I think I'm leaning towards something like that. Sure. Let's get some gemstones brought in. Oh, and let's also make sure we get ourselves an extra import route because I have another free provincial investment. Okay, um, well, we're making a pretty good amount of money. We're slowly tracking toward getting some sort of a grand wonder in our country. I probably will build it down here in Barsipa, which is 19 pops, not absolutely huge, but reasonable enough, and will affect the local province of Babylon, leaving some room for other things if I wanted to. Be kind of cool to build the Hanging Gardens. I'm not sure if I can find a way to do that, but I'd like to. In the meantime, we're stuck, and I need to find a way to kill Uruk before we get killed. Because I have no other ways to grow from here on out unless we want to fight someone who is a fair bit stronger up over this direction and has less to offer. We'll see, though. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.